Hey guys, over the last month I've been busy laying down this 3mm rubber sub road bed material. I've done about 40 feet of it, so I'm getting fairly proficient at doing it, so I thought I'd just do a quick video showing some tips on uh, how to lay this stuff down so you get a nice even surface to uh, put your cork on. So you can see there that 3mm rubber is nice and flat and secured firmly to the surface of the plywood. There's a couple pitfalls to avoid when you're laying this rubber down, especially just because of the nature of the glue that you need to use on this product. So I'll show you those and a couple tips to help speed up the process. So this is the glue and the tools that I use. I recommend at least getting this stuff if you're going to do this because it really does help provide an even layer of glue underneath. So uh, just a bottle of water, a spray bottle, Gorilla Glue, you know, in past videos I talked about it, but I'll just briefly touch on it here. So I tested about eight different glues. I tested um, PL400, uh, Husti Seal, a couple and a few other products, silicone product, and this Gorilla Glue was the best out of all that stuff. And some of them wouldn't adhere to the rubber at all. At all. And I guess rubber is kind of a really tricky thing to glue down. So I found that Gorilla Glue works the best. And if somebody has a uh, has found something else that works, let me know because I would gladly look try something else. But the Gorilla Glue works pretty good. You just gotta be careful with it because it's a polyurethane glue and it expands. The other two items there are a carpet roller. I got it for a couple bucks from Princess Auto and a welder's wire brush. So the end goal is to provide a layer of really dense material that we can lay cork on top of and then track on top of that and what it does will knock down some of that wheel noise that gets created. The main thing to watch out for is that we're laying this rubber down as flat as possible on the plywood. The sound deadening material I chose is this 3mm all-purpose rubber. You get it from Home Depot. comes in uh, about 25 square foot roll. And I just cut it with, a, with an X-Acto knife. So I've got a piece ready here, and I don't do large pieces at a time. This is pretty much as big as I will do, just because you need to weigh this down with plywood to make sure you're getting a nice even surface when the glue dries. So this is about as big a piece as I'll use, and it depends on how much plywood you've got, but I'm just using scrap pieces that are laying, laying around. So once you've got your piece cut out, we can go ahead and get this ready for glue. So we'll flip it over and then give it a good scrub with the wire brush. Make sure the bottom's got no kind of free of any grime or dirt and also scarify the surface of it a little bit. Nothing fancy here, just a cheap, you know, couple buck welding slag brush. Okay, so that piece, we're ready for glue now. So just following the Gorilla Glue instructions, it says to just spray the surface of the material to be glued. So we'll just use the plain tap water here. And we'll go ahead and put some glue down. Now this is the very important part of the process. You want to be very careful. You don't want a huge globs of the glue everywhere, so you got to be very careful. I try to keep the top of the bottle pressed against the rubber and that seems to help reduce the... Uh, you don't want any beads or big globs of glue. Like I was saying before, when it dries it expands quite a bit, so you, you could end up with these uh, big ridges or bumps and we do not want that when we go to lay down the cork we're going to have problems so just try to kind of get it evenly everywhere and then I'm going to go over it with a piece of scrap make sure that it's spread out nice and evenly a piece of scrap wood here just run that over it knock down those ridges
You want to make sure you get it right close to the edges too. You want glue right up to the edge of the rubber. Otherwise, you'll have it uh, lift up once the glue dries. Okay, that's spread out pretty good. Go ahead and flip it over. Okay, now when I've got it like this, I like to move it around a bit, and that also helps spread the glue out onto the plywood. Pretty even there. Okay, and then last last step is just to use the carpet roller and uh, flatten that kind of the last. Last thing we do to make sure that that glue is all spread out evenly. If you look underneath, nice even layer of glue there on the plywood. Okay, so we'll get it in the final position. Pretty good there. Now we'll use our plywood. And I got a big, nice big square piece of three quarter inch for doing this. Works well. Just check your corners. Make sure they're still good. Now we'll put some clamps on the corners and some weight and call it good. So I always clamp all four corners first. That ensures it takes any kind of bend maybe out of the plywood and you have a nice flat surface. Then I just throw some stuff on for weight and I'll let that dry for a whole day. So I'll leave this piece until tomorrow. And then I'll take the weights and the clamps off and move on to the next piece. And that's it. Simple as that. So hopefully you found this helpful guys. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time.